Checklists are a great way to ensure that you're conducting safe flight operations. I'm going to show you how to first create a checklist within your Air Data dashboard. Then I'll show you how to fill out a checklist that you've created. First, we need to go to the editor. You can access it by going to Manage and Checklist or coming over to My Account. In the bottom left hand side, click on Editor under Checklist. The first time you access this page, you may see a list of pre-populated questions that we've added for you. You can certainly go through and delete them and customize the pre and post flight checklist for your operational needs. To add a new question, go to the bottom, click on add question. Under question type, go ahead and click on that little drop down menu. Choose the type of question that you would like and proceed to fill it out. Once you've gone through and added all of your pre-flight questions, Click Save, and then we can go to Post-Flight Checklist. Same thing here, add any questions you would like. When you've finished filling it out, click Save, and that's it, simple as that. So we've now created a pre and post-flight checklist. Excellent, now that we've created pre and post-flight checklist, there are two ways that we can fill them out. The first of which is in the Air Data mobile app, under Start, we're gonna click on Pre-Flight Checklist, go through these and fill this out. Once you filled it out, click on that save icon and that'll take us back to this page showing us that we've successfully completed and saved a pre-flight checklist. After you finish flying, go ahead and fill out the post-flight checklist. Very good. Now that we've created pre and post-flight checklist on the mobile app, let's go ahead and jump back over to the desktop. At this point, you may be wondering how we assign the correct checklist to the correct flights and it's based off of timestamps. So let's go ahead and go to logs under my flights. Under here on July 12th, let's say that I filled out that pre-flight checklist right before I flew this flight. And then I filled out the post-flight checklist directly after I flew this flight. Well, let's click on this to bring it up here in the center. Right now we're under general. If you go all the way to the right under checklists, if I click on that, this is the post-flight checklist, and this is what we had just filled out on the mobile app. Same thing with the pre-flight checklist. This is a completed checklist for this flight on July 12th. Now, I did mention that there are two different ways that you can fill out a checklist. If you didn't fill one out when you were out in the field, you can do so here in the Air Data dashboard. Let's go to a flight that I don't have a checklist filled out for. This next one down. Now you can see that this is not completed. I can go through here and complete it. I can hit save form. Under pre-flight checklist, I can go through here and I can click save. And that's another way that we can retroactively complete a pre or post-flight checklist for a particular flight. And one last thing I wanna mention regarding checklist. Let's say you're out in the field and you fill out a pre-flight checklist, but you don't end up flying that's gonna show up under unassigned checklist. So if we come up here to my account, in the bottom left-hand side, see under checklist, we have unassigned checklist. I'll click on that. I currently don't have any that are unassigned. If I did, they would populate here and I can delete them if there was no flight conducted after that checklist was completed. Or if you fill out multiple checklists within a short period of time and AirData is not able to link them to the correct flights, you can come into here see the checklist that's not linked, and you can link it to the proper flight. And there you go, that's how you create a checklist within AirData and then fill one out, either on your mobile device, iOS or Android, or on the AirData dashboard for that particular flight.